uh, at the Linking and Learning Conference being hosted by Hivos. Uh, it has been an experience where we have come to realize that it doesn't matter where women are placed, but in all parts of the continent, uh, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in all parts of African countries, women continue to be underrepresented in political leadership. And their participation continue to be affected by structural barriers, by personal barriers, by also capacity barriers, and also just having a, a legal framework that does not allow for them to participate. Coming to, uh, to to Harare attending this meeting, my thinking is that in good enough that we are able to bring people from three countries, but also adding in our colleagues from the other part of the world, Jordan and, and Lebanon, yes, learning from each other. But I think it is also strengthening you know, our position in terms of the amplified, amplifying our voices to say women have similar challenges everywhere. Um, it was really like a, a great opportunity also to see the different uh, differences but especially the similarities between Southern Africa and the Middle East and I think that also was, uh, I heard that as well from uh, participants in, from the Middle East that it was that really there were striking similarities. That really gives a good ground for, um, for seeking uh, cooperation and so on. It's, it's very interesting to, actually there are, there are two things to be, to be talked about here. First is, I think what we've been doing in these two days is actually, maybe without even knowing, or maybe unconsciously, we've been trying to build global sisterhood around issues that we all suffer from, uh, and that we've all been trying to find solutions for, but maybe with, with varying degrees of success. Um, I feel that it's very inspiring to actually come to the other part of the world, like cross seas, to actually listen to problems that we we suffer from as well in our own contexts. And I think um, what what inspired me the most was basically hearing that the problem of, of how women in politics are looked at is universal, uh, and that and that the way people perceive women in leadership is the same kind of everywhere. And it's, it's very important for us as, as activists, as feminists, to actually come together and to brainstorm on solutions because we've been working, yes, in different contexts, but, but with the same issues, with the same kind of dilemma. So it's very important for us to learn from each other and to see what has worked and what hasn't. Uh, however, you know, MENA region has uh, have something basically uh, different. Uh, also, uh, I've learned many things regarding uh, uh, the work of uh, parties in Africa, either in Zambia, uh, Zimbabwe, and Malawi, uh, the tools that are being shared. I think we need to understand what the problem is. The problem is not patriarchy. The problem is not the lack of resources. It, those are just bad issues that make it difficult for me to participate in politics. But I think we have a bigger problem. We have a problem of misogyny. We actually have men um, in society, internationally and locally, who dislike women, who have a contempt of women, and who make it their business to systematically eject any woman who challenges them, any woman who is assertive. Uh, key to note is the different shades of political violence, which is also affecting for women to actually participate in their numbers. So this platform has been a platform of reflection, a platform of sharing, and a platform for interface to look at uh, various actors who have been trying to strengthen different women from political interests that are diverse, to look at how have been the experience and what is it that have been best practices and what opportunities are there for collective work and for strengthening the existing work that is already there. So it has been a platform that has come up with quite a number of very brilliant uh, best practices sharing, very interesting opportunities of how uh, at Global Lab 4 we can actually take this up. I, w I want to build on this and I do suggest for the, as, a, uh, as an action plan for later, for the near uh, future, to build like a sort of alliance between women NGOs and uh, all HIVOT partners. Uh, it's true that we are all part of one program, but at least we don't know each other's like strategies and communication how, uh, and action plans. So it's, it's good to know how like uh, the uh, women NGO in Zimbabwe or in Zambia, Malawi, Lebanon, Jordan, are, are implementing uh, the theory of change and uh, the values that we are working on 
on local level so that we can take advantage of the success uh, that have been like uh, exercised or practiced by uh, certain NGOs uh, in order to take advantage of them and implement them in our local country. Thank you.